Believe it or not, Thomas Edison, the great American inventor, attended only two months of formal schooling. Born on a chilly February day in 1847 in the state of Ohio, Edison was the youngest of seven children. His father, Samuel, and his mother, Nancy, provided a nurturing environment for their youngest child. Interestingly, young Edison developed partial deafness early in life, but this didn't deter his or drive for innovation. Instead, it made him a more focused and determined individual. The family decided to move to Michigan, better opportunities that Samuel's work could offer them. Despite his limited time in a traditional school setting and his hearing impairment, Edison was not without education. His mother, a former school teacher, took it upon herself to guide young Edison through the world of books. Coupled with his insatiable curiosity and overcoming his physical impairment, Edison began self-teach and tinker at an early age. He was a child fascinated by the world around him, always eager to learn and explore. His introduction to the telegraph at the tender age of 16 opened a new world for Edison. However, the inefficiencies of the telegraph machine frustrated him. Driven by the frustration of a telegraph machine and his relentless pursuit of knowledge despite his partial deafness, Edison was propelled into the world of invention. Edison's journey as an inventor began in earnest when he quit his job as a telegrapher. Fueled by a desire to create a more efficient communication system, he set his sights on the realm of invention. After a series of trials and errors, he finally struck gold with his first successful invention, the universal stock printer. This machine, though not as monumental as his future creations, marked the beginning of his illustrious career as an inventor. In 1871, he sold the universal stock printer to Western Union for a sum of $40,000. This significant sale not only gave him the financial stability to pursue invention full-time, but also earned him recognition in the world of innovation. However, it was in 1877 that Edison truly made his mark. He invented the phonograph, a device that could record and reproduce sound, a groundbreaking creation that was met with awe and admiration. But Edison was far from finished. Three years later, in 1880, he unveiled an invention that would indelibly etch his name in the annals of history, the light bulb. While the concept of a light bulb had been around, none of the existing designs were safe or effective enough for practical use. That's when Edison stepped in. He bought the rights to an existing light bulb patent from two scientists, Matthew Evans and Henry Woodward, and began to tinker. His approach to the design was unique. Instead of using gas, Edison opted for electricity. But how to prevent the bulb from overheating? He devised a current that would send electricity into the bulb, where light would be produced and then exit the bulb safely. This not only made the light bulb effective but also safe for everyday use. With the light bulb, Edison illuminated the world in a way it had never seen before. His invention was more than just a source of light. It was a beacon of innovation, a testament to human ingenuity, and a shining example of how curiosity, perseverance, and a bit of tinkering can change the world. Behind the brilliance of his inventions, Thomas Edison also led a rich family life. He first walked down the aisle in 1871 with Mary Stilwell, a woman who would become the mother of his first three children, Marin, Thomas, and William. Their union, however, was marred by tragedy when Mary passed away at the tender age of 29 in 1884, due to a brain tumor. This left a void in Edison's life, but it was one that would eventually be filled. Just two years later, Edison found love again. This time, he tied the knot with Mina Miller, and together, they expanded the Edison clan with the birth of three more children, Madeline, Charles, and Theodore. This brought the total tally of Edison offspring to six, two daughters and four sons, each carrying a spark of their father's inventive spirit. Edison's personal life was as dynamic and diverse as his professional one. He was a family man, deeply involved in the lives of his children. He nurtured their curiosity, encouraged their questions, and fueled their ambitions. Despite his fame and relentless work ethic, Edison never allowed his professional commitments to overshadow his role as a father. He knew the value of family and ensured that his children grew up with a strong sense of self-belief and the courage to explore the unknown. Edison's legacy was not only his inventions but also his family with his son William carrying on the Edison inventive spirit. In 1931 the world bid farewell to the great inventor Thomas Edison. His remarkable era came to an end, yet his legacy lives on. His inventions from the revolutionary light bulb to the phonograph continue to shape our modern lives, illuminating our nights and filling our world with sound. His inventive spirit and relentless curiosity have inspired generations of inventors and dreamers. 
Even in his absence his influence remains undeniable. Thomas Edison may be gone but his light continues to shine brightly in our lives, 